If you've been paying attention to gold prices, you already know. Sounds like it's doing something. Coming into September, gold was priced at $1,940. Now leaving the month, we're looking at a drop of nearly 4%. Gold's at $1,865. As I'm recording this, and 4%, that's a pretty significant swing. It's actually 3.8% if we're keeping track, but it's also dropped below a psychological mark, that $1,900 mark, and now it's even gone below the 200-day moving average. That gives a technical case for further drops. That support line is now probably resistant. So in other words, if you've been holding out, waiting to buy, you might be back in business. Now, before we get back to it, if you're looking for precious metals, hit up SD Bullion. New customers even get gold and silver for spot. It's sdbullion.com slash new. I kid a little bit about celebrating dips. I would actually like to see slow and steady gains. But the reality here is that I just don't buy as much when prices are high. What signifies high? Well, it depends on who you ask. Right now, there are going to be a lot of people saying back up that truck. But let's get real for a minute here. Gold has both opportunity cost and actual lost cost over the short term. You don't buy gold to get rich quick. Now, the reason that I buy it is to hold value over the long run, and that's a strategy that's pretty well supported over time. Now, zoom in on what's happening right now, though. I've mentioned a few times I feel like gold price has felt too high for me to be buying much. And the reason isn't that I think it doesn't have more upside. It's about the immediate environment. If you look at things right now, bonds are paying out historically high rates but the price of gold is still strong. Now those safe investments should really be destroying gold prices. People tend to confuse gold's correlation with inflation over small time frames, when the actual correlation has been real interest rates. So long-term gold holding its value means it's tracking or beating inflation, sure. But the short-term correlation is actually with rates. We can see this in the yields of competing products. When those yields are high, the price of gold should really be going down. That's just based on investor interest. Well, that hasn't really been happening lately. Over the past year or so, the two have more or less decoupled. Yields on 10-year treasuries are higher than they've been since 2007, but the price of this stuff has still been really strong. Now, add to that the performance of the U.S. dollar on the Dixie. A dollar's performance, it has spiked relative to other currencies, which should be another detriment for gold price. And that part's pretty straightforward because what happens is prices for gold go up in other currencies, so global demand normally goes down. Those higher prices scare off investors. Well, what else? Well, we have to add the Chinese onshore gold premiums. Maybe you've seen stories of the Shanghai premium where gold is trading in China for much higher than the global price. Basically, onshore gold premiums were approximately $100, and that has nothing to do with physical premiums. It has nothing to do with currency exchange. Normally, that number is more like $6. And this is the highest premium in Shanghai markets ever. So basically, what you're looking at here is gold costs 6% more in China than it would in London or New York. So that should be another factor pushing the price of gold down. But still, it's not. Gold is actually particularly hot in China right now. We know about the central bank buying, the People's Bank of China. They've been buying huge amounts of gold, but... The population is getting in on it now, too. Up until recently, 70% of Chinese household wealth was held in real estate. Well, analysts are saying that's starting to change because the yuan hasn't been doing well this year to start. And then the Chinese property market, it's really a train wreck now. That pushes more individuals to switch gears for wealth shelters, and that wealth seems to be going into gold. We know domestic sales for gold bullion in China was up 30% already in the first half of the year. So what does all this have to do with me feeling like gold price was high? Well, the reason that I've been saying that is without an official Fed pause on rate hikes, or better yet, a reversal, there's no reason for gold price to climb, at least not based on any correlation between real rates and gold. Now, and I think that we will see a Fed pause and we'll see a reversal, but not anytime soon. So with all the factors that I just ran through short of the situation in China, well, gold price should really have been heading down already, at least in my layman opinion. So in my mind, I've simply been thinking that gold price feels high. Like I said, I think it'll shoot up once the Fed changes gears, but until then, 
I guess I felt it should be going the other way. 1850, that's been the number I've been throwing around. There's some technical reasons there, but mostly it's more of a feeling. And because we've been well above that, I just haven't been buying as much. Like I said, this is all just lame and commentary, personal feelings. And it's part of the reason that I've been buying the Eagles. The gold lust just isn't quite as strong with them, so I can have it be more about the actual price. But 1850 puts me back in buy mode. And I know we're not quite there yet. 1860, though, that's almost close enough. I don't have a hard ceiling when I'm talking about feelings. The new general price groove, though, it feels a lot more in line with what's happening right now. I'm not really backing up a truck. I'm not buying to catch up because I was already at a running goal. And with China playing a role in where gold is currently at, kind of supporting that higher level, for all we know, price could fall further before turning around. And that doesn't have anything to do with technical analysis. That's just looking at how things are going in China. And they're not going real well. Now, my plan is always going to be to try to buy on the way down, which is what I plan to be doing right now. But I don't go crazy unless we see a big drop. If we do the math on where we're at right now, from its high in April and May of this year, gold price is down about 8.8%. That's not real far from that 10% number that I use, that number that's in my head that I watch for, that maybe I'll buy more for if we hit. 10% would be $1,836. We're really not far off from that. 15%, the other number I use, would be $1,734. Now, there's no real magic in that for anyone else. I just use those as triggers for me personally. If prices keep falling, we start to hit those numbers, I will buy more. So that's what I'm up to. Let us know what you think. If you're buying, if you've been waiting for prices to come down a little bit, maybe we're there. Or if you thought we're supposed to be going the other direction, not really sure what's going on. Either way, I think we can agree this is a dip. Whether it's going to dip further, who knows? Let us know in the comments what you think. And then while you're there, be sure to hit that like button if you found any of this interesting. Be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you'd like to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.